Hey, what's going on? Um, Josh Barnett, Apex Pro Photo. So, um, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about um, some uh, new products I've tried out. Um, Moto D lap timer, um, thanks to uh, 612 Moto. Um, there's not much talk about about my awesome hat from Westby uh, Racing and my cool t-shirt, um, but it's awesome. Uh, support the racers. Mm -hmm. I dig it. Um, yeah, so uh, I want to talk about the uh, Moto D lap timer that I got from 612 Moto. Um, thanks, Jack, and uh, also Scott. Uh, Scott uh, was super helpful Friday when I had some questions. Um, gave him a call. Uh, and also the uh, Pirelli uh, SC tires. I was running slicks Friday. Um, I was running an SC one front and a, a SC three rear, uh, hoping for a little more life. Um, I just came off of the uh, Evos, so um, the Michelin Evos, and I, I grabbed a uh, SC one front from um, Alex from Trackside Tires. So thanks, Alex. Um, and the Evos uh, I got from Custom Performance. I got a front and rear set from um, Gabe of their custom performance, and then I also picked up another rear uh, when I was at VR a couple weeks ago from uh, Kickstand. Chris is his real name, but nobody knows him by that. Um, from uh, I picked up a rear from him, so just want to talk a little bit about some of the, my observations and opinions, and that's all they are. Uh, I'm not a super fast guy. I would say I'm a quick track day rider. Uh, when it comes to racer, you know, whatever, I've only raced an R3, um, and that was in a, a semi-competitive format with Moto Gladiator and uh, Team Promotion um, Racing. And you'll have to excuse my son who's walking up talking. Go away! Just wait! Go away! I'm on the, I'm making a video. Sorry. Um, but so, first off, um, Moto D lap timer. Uh, so, now that your attention spans are completely gone, sorry. Uh, I just want to talk a little bit about uh, a couple of observations. First, uh, it's well built, well made. Um, I just have it mounted on a, like a GoPro mount and using a RAM mount to mount it up. Um, but it's super easy to use, um, turn it on and go. With the exception of VIR, um, that's where um, Scott was really helpful Friday because <coughs> at VIR, um, you know, there's four different track configurations. There's North, there's South, there's Patriot, actually five, I guess grand and full course uh, we were running north so you know wh well wh what track are you running you know how's the lap timer supposed to know that so you had to manually set that didn't take long at all Scott was really helpful so thank you Scott um, for uh, answering my questions and uh, answering the phone actually because you know you didn't have a number probably but anyways uh, it's really easy to use um, you know it, it's, it's a little big but I mean it's you know it's, it's a lap timer, so there's all kinds of different places you can mount it. Um, I'll just mount mine up front so I can see it on the ram mount. But what I like about it is, you turn it on and you just start riding. Um, you know, it'll tell you your best times. It'll, you know, it'll tell you top speed. There's additional accessories that you can buy. Uh, uh, you, you can buy to. Um, to tell RPM and stuff. And I wasn't too worried about uh, that. Um, I just wanted to see where my times were. Uh, not, not because um, I'm really trying to prove anything, but I, you know, I want to see, you know, how am I riding? Am I doing better? Because sometimes when you think you're going faster, you're not. Um, so I just wanted to see, you know, how am I progressing uh, as a rider? Um, you know, with me doing photography. Uh, it helps to at least know the sport that you're providing a service for. So, um, you know, I wanted, I wanted to be able to, you know, continue to improve uh, my craft in photography, but also writing. Um, you know, it's a passion, uh, and I share that with all of you guys and gals. Um, so the lap timer works really, really great, really easy to use. Shows your best times, top speed, blah blah blah. 
Um, and that's all I really wanted it for. And I wanted the ease and you, the, the ease of use, and it really did that for me. So um, thank you, uh, 612 Moto, for uh, um, my uh, Moto D lap timer, and thanks Moto D for producing it. So really happy with it. It's a great price point. Um, I really encourage anyone that's in the market for lap timer to check it out. Uh, there's other options out there, but um, I'm, I'm really happy with with what I've got so far. Uh, moving on to um, tires, um, I went from uh, pretty much being so I bought the FCT and I rode it with stock tires for a little while on the track just to get feel for it. Um, and then I threw a SC1 slick front on and a Q3 Plus rear. Uh, Q3 Plus is actually a pretty good tire. Um, but then I wanted to really see, you know, what I could do. So I um, threw a set of, uh, this is before the lap timer, so I have no idea what I was doing the first day out on uh, the Evos. But I was running DOTs, one, 190 out back um, at, at NC Bike. And, you know, it was... Uh, the tires are not as soft as the Pirelli, um, which I was used to. I wanted, I, I liked being hard on the brakes and feeling the front ends. I wanted to feel the tire squishing underneath me. With the Pirelli, that definitely happens. With the Michelin, the carcass is a little stiffer. Um, it's not Dunlop stiff, uh, so maybe I'll try some Dunlops and, and give you guys another comparison on that. But um, it, if it was planted, it was just a matter of me trusting the tire. Like I've seen, you know, uh, Greg Melka, you know, just doing phenomenal things on the on the Michelin. So I knew they could stick. It was just a matter of me. Um, so I rode those for the weekend, and they did great. Um, the front tire, I did not buy a new one because it was still sticking, and the rear was still sticking. But I was just being um, cautious, I guess. So I rode on my NC bike. They did great. Um, I felt great, but I. I I was limiting the performance that they could provide because um, I was just getting the feel of them. So I went to VR um, on a Monday um, with the same set of tires uh, that I had on from NC Bike. I, uh, I was riding with a guy on R6 later in the day after taking photos and he's like, you know, we came in the pits and he's like, man, that was a, a great session. I turned my best lap time ever at 137, which is respectable. I guess, uh, especially for a track day, uh, and me being on a naked standard bike, you know, the fact that, you know, I was able to tow him around, and he was able to turn his fastest lap time he's ever had, you know, made me feel good, um, but the tires did great, um, still using the same front, still using the same rear, I bought another rear from Chris, um, kickstand, uh, for, so I could finish out the front, and so I went to NC Bike, um, next a couple weekends later, I got with my Moto D lap timer. I was like, let me see what I can do. So the best lap time I ever did in C bike was a 132 um, on my Triumph 675 last year running Pirellis, and I felt like I was working so hard to get that time. Um, and you know, some of you guys are like, oh, I do sub 130s in C bike. Well, that's great. You know, I'm not the fastest guy out there. So. But I was proud of myself. I went out um, the first session and immediately first first lap, second lap out. I mean, first lap doesn't really count. Um, I was turning. Um, get the cat inside. The cat's gonna get away. Take the cat inside. Sorry. Um, so, uh, anyways, so second lap out. I was doing 34s and then 33s and then 32s, and I was consistently doing those. And I did not feel like I was pushing. And granted, this front tire that I had on and the rear had three days on it, you know, three days um, to a density bike one of the hour. Uh, and so I was like, okay, let me throw that new rear tire on. So I threw the new rear tire on, and that next session I did a 31. Um, and I didn't realize it until like later on, I actually did four four laps in a row at 31s, best time I've ever turned. Um, and you know, one thing I'll say is the tires do talk to you. Not that the Pirellis don't, the Pirellis are a great tire, but the Pirellis, because they're so soft, they can kind of mask, they kind of mask in what the, the bike's doing because they're so soft and they give so much and they, and they, they mask a little bit of that, I guess that's the right way of putting it. Um, but with the Michelins, you know, for example, turn five, 
So I had, you know, a front tire on that was, you know, three days old, and the sipes were, the out, very outside sipe was completely gone, and the, and the one inside was wearing pretty good. It was going to be gone by the end of the day, and it was. But I'm in turn five, and it's a super long turn if you've ever been there. It's a left-hander. So I'm, I'm cranked over on the bike, and I'm, I'm accelerating through the turn slowly and smoothly, and I knew I, I got to lean some more. So I lean some more, and I lean some more. Um, you know, at some point my elbow touched down when I tried, but yeah, I didn't have to. But anyways, I'm cranked over really hard, and I can just feel the front. The front is, is telling me, you're good, keep going, just be smooth. And I can feel it. I can feel the front sticking, and that is a great feeling to have because you never want the front not to be sticking. Not fun unless you like sliding the bike around. Um, so I'm not a dirt guy. Uh, so I don't like that feeling. I like my, my tires to stick, especially my front. And the front was stuck. Like I'm cranked over. I'm, I'm on the bike. I'm slightly accelerating. I'm, you know, giving it just a little bit of gas as we're coming to the exit. And stand it up, throw it into the next turn, and the tire sticks. I never once was like, these tires are shot. This front tire is done. Um, and it was, it was pretty, at the end of that weekend, at the two days, uh, it was roasted. The front tire was roasted, but it was still sticking. I, it not once slid on me. Um, so, and this past Monday, uh, not Monday, Friday at VIR at the practice with Team Promotion um, Racer Practice Day, uh, I had a brand new SC1 front, SC3 on the rear. Um, and they felt great. I was really hot and I was really tired riding. I, I did some 138s at VIR. It's just this okay lap time. Um, the front tire sticks. The Pirelli front tire sticks. Please don't step on that. Don't step on that. Sorry. Um, so the, the, what I can say is if you like your tires, if you like your carcass soft and you like your tires to um, be I don't want to say be more of a suspension component because the Pirellis do the same. No, and the Michelins do the same thing. But if you like the squish, if you like the the, the squirm that the Pirelli will sometimes give you, then maybe that's your tire. But for me, um, once I quit worrying about it, how I like the Michelins and just let them do what they're supposed to do, I was I was smoother, faster. Um, and and I, I do have a um, 200 rear versus the 190 rear, so there could be a little variance there. Um, I had 200 rear um, Pirelli um, and 190 55 um, Michelin, but I will I will say this: yesterday when I was on the Pirellis versus the Michelins, <coughs> I was running wide in the hog pen, um, and running out of track. I was having to pick the bike up a lot sooner than before. Um, and with the Michelins, I was moving through the hog pen, um, holding my line better. Maybe it was me, maybe it wasn't the tires. Um, but, you know, on the Michelins, I was hugging, hugging the curve at the hog pen, accelerating out, and, and I wasn't feeling like I'm about to go off the track. I have to pick the bike up now. With the, with the Pirellis yesterday, and again, maybe it was me, but I'm just making an observation. I was, I was running wide, wider, not holding my line as well, um, uh, and you know maybe it's the profile of the Michelin was was uh, better for my riding style. But anyways, I, I, I'm pretty sure that once these Pirelli's done, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna try the Michelin slicks out. Um, but uh, you know, I, I don't. Both tires stick very well, and it's really a matter of preference. But it, but you know, there's a lot to be said with what you feel comfortable with. And at this point, um, I felt more comfortable with with the Michelins, uh, the Evos. Um, you know, and so that's not to disparage Pirelli. It was just I, I think that might that's where I'm leaning toward. Um, and, and one thing I'll say about Gabe and Chris or Kickstand, um, they were both very, very helpful. Um, had a lot of technical understanding and explaining things to me, what the tire's doing, um, what I may be, oh, my legs, sorry. Ah, um, 
what I might be doing, what the what the tires might be telling me, um, and it really was, you know, it was nice to, to hear that and an explanation of, of what to expect, what you might be feeling, how to address it, um, and they were very helpful. Um, Alex was also super helpful from um, Trackside Tire with Pirelli, um, so, you know, um, you know, support the tire vendors, you know, whenever you can. Um, you know, even um, even when I wasn't running um, Dunlops, I was at a PRE event and um, Jim from Max Speed Cycle. You know, I had some issues with the tire, um, with my rear tire, and I was like, you know, what's it doing? What do you recommend? And he was talking to me about pressures and, and what I could change up to maybe get a little more grip. Um, but regardless, here's a plug for any track side vendor. Um, whether it's, you know, um, Jim from Max Speed Cycles, um, Gabe and Kickstand with uh, Michelin Custom Performance, um, you know, uh, um, Alex from Trackside Tire, you know, support your Trackside vendors. They're there spending their money, um, their gas, uh, their, their sweat, uh, and it, you know, it really helps when you support the community that's out there to support you while you're having your um, race or track day. So. Um, that's a plug for all of them, um, whoever you are, you know, track side, um, track side parts, um, Justin hauls all that junk, <laughs> not junk, but parts around from all the way up in Yankee land. So, you know, when they're there, support them, um, you know, uh, yeah, support your track side vendors is all I'm going to say. But, you know, for me, I, I'm, I'm kind of leaning, you know, toward the, uh, Michelin Evos, um, stupid birds, uh, so that's a super long video. Uh, thanks for uh, hanging out, watching. Uh, for all my customers who constantly support me and taking photos, man, it gets flipping hot outside, and um, I get tired. And but also ride, and you know that makes it a little bit more worthwhile. But for all of you who support me um, at almost every event, I, I truly appreciate it. Um, it's it's a labor of love, and. I, I do work hard to do my best for you guys, so any feedback that you ever have for me, please uh, feel free to share it. Um, but, you know, thanks thanks for uh, checking out the video. It's probably way longer than it should be. Um, but uh, thanks. Um, check us out, Apex Pro Photo.